it a very simple quiz game. Uh, so I'm going to title this one, Who Am I? And I'm going to call this the Rainforest Animals Edition. Now, whether or not you use a title slide depends on whether this is going to be a standalone game or part of an existing presentation. So that's obviously up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and make a title slide and I'm going to put a little design on it to make it look all fancy and fun. All right, and now we'll get into actually making the game. So if you wanted to, you could add some instructions over here on the right or a new slide with some instructions. It just depends on your audience, what age group you're going for, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and add a new slide. And I'm going to format mine, and you're welcome to choose a different layout if you'd like to. But I'm going to choose this section header layout just because I like the look of it for this. So I'm going to use this area down here to put in my question. So I have red eyes, orange hands, and bright green skin. But I am not poisonous. Then I'm going to use the subtitle here to do who am I? Click anywhere to check your guess. All right, so I've got my question in there, and then I have my little prompt. Who am I? Click anywhere to check your guess. All right, now I'm going to bring in, insert, a little clip art or picture or something like that. You don't have to do that, uh, but it makes it kind of fun and cute if you do. And I'm going to choose this little hanging frog. He's way too big, so I'll just kind of smash him down a little bit move him up here. I'm going to redesign him a bit so he looks kind of cool and floaty. Maybe rotate him just a touch. Maybe make him a little bigger. So you can kind of play with that, just kind of size it and move it around as much as you'd like. And then I'm going to bring in a text box as well, and this will have my answer in it. So I'm going to insert a text box and click over here and type in my answer. I am a red, oops, eyed tree frog. Woohoo! And I can resize that text, make it a little bit bigger, give it more of a presence. Let's see, that's too big. There, that's perfect. Move it around as needed. And then I'm going to add one more element. I'm going to add a little um, action button to move us to the next question when we're done. So I'm going to insert a shape and just choose the next button to move us forward. And so that will just appear right there. All right, now what we want to have happen is for this, the students or the users to see the question and prompt, but not the response until they're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and just click and then shift click or control click these three elements that I want to appear later. And I'm going to go up here in my ribbon to animations and choose an animation uh, for to have them appear. So any of these green ones will bring those shapes in. And I've selected them all together so that they'll all appear at the same time. So I'm just going to choose this grow and turn animation and it'll look something like that. All right, now I could go in and I could put in more questions if I so chose. This is a really easy game to make. So this could be, I am a monkey that lives in the Amazon. Who am I? Click anywhere to check your guess. So it's kind of the same thing. You could even go through and just copy and paste. Uh, the entire slide and then just change the answer and the clue and things like that. So it's pretty simple. I'm not going to go through putting another picture and all that stuff in here. I just wanted to show you how it works. And then if we go to slideshow, we can check and see. Okay, who am I? I have red eyes. Oh, who am I? Click. And there they appear. And then we go to the next slide. So that's a really basic game that you can make using PowerPoint. Just a little quiz game.